And uh, yeah, uh, I didn't turn the engine over uh, just yet. So guys, what's up YouTube? I just wanted to, I'm editing a video right now. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And if y'all got any tips, man, let me know. Um, I have been looking at the Clark's garage on um, what could be possible uh, issues. I probably need to check my grounds. I also need to check the reference sensor and the crank sensor if I'm mistaken. And it's kind of weird because we put a new, you know, you're going to see on and it's still, you know, do the same thing. So I remember one time the car would not start at all on me one time. Um, and I had changed the sensor and the car had was running fine and stuff. And I only changed the reference sensor if I'm mistaken. I don't think I changed the other one. So we will see. Y'all let me know in the video. Um, I'm still thinking like what could be the possible issue. Anyway, enjoy the video. Make sure to watch it through and I appreciate y'all. Right. What's up Auto 3 Garage? Welcome back to a whole new video. As you can see, I am working on my 84 944. It had broke down on me uh, the past week uh, due to a bad starter. Luckily, my belts are, you know, anything wasn't broken. Like <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so guys, as I was just saying, um, luckily, I don't see no belts or anything torn. So that's a good sign. If a belt had torn and stuff, then that would have dropped um, a rod and that wouldn't have been a good uh, day. But I would have turned the engine over, but I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to throw the starter on. I'm going to get uh, right into it. Uh, everything checks out okay. I remember last time I had a no uh, start issue, uh, no crank, um, and the rotor in here was loose. But anyway, made sure that was tight and everything was tight. Uh, so anyways, let's just put the starter in and all that. Let me quit all the time. See y'all. All right, guys. So this is the new starter right here. 83 bucks. Well, 87 bucks later uh, from car parts. Um, I would have got OEE, which is the Bosch. All Bosch parts are OE for the Porsches and all that. Uh, especially for, you know, th that year, uh, that model and all that. And as you can see, which I probably will put it somewhere. AutoZone had quoted me not old autos on events had quoted me like 311 dollars for windows anyways let's get through <laughs> and we got all the tools got a proper jack and all that now which is pretty damn cool so guys as i jack up the car i'm going to have two jack stands uh allow the porch to rest up on it and i'm gonna have the jack up front just for extra assurance but i was hoping and hoping and praying that this car would have you know Got to its final destination to where it need to be at. But y'all will see. So guys, we got the car jacked up now. Put it getting on the machine. So we're gonna change our starter right there and I will get back with y'all in a bit. <clears throat> and honestly, what I think killed the other starter was um, oil that was on top of um, of it and all that. Uh, my battery was good, connections was good. We had no corroded wire or anything. And the only thing I could come up with is the old starter. It was oily on there. And looking under the Porsche, we do have some type of oil leak somewhere and i'm thinking it's coming from the bottom side of the pan um which i probably should have changed but i wonder if i had to drop the whole motor out just to change it and as y'all can see we got oil and i want to say it's leaking from this oil pan gasket right here um as y'all can see it's like real oily um, i just got to check to see where it's coming from and yeah you know, when I think I'm, if it's an oily, all that oil, you know, when the car driving, it probably just blowing back towards that way. But anyway, we're going to put this one on and uh, figure this out when we get her straight home. All right, so guys, moment of truth. We got everything put together. So we're going to see if she's going to start. If not, then I'm going to have a frown on my face. You see my face? I'm excited. Anyway, got battery connected. Um, got the start and all that. Finna drop this car down uh, to the ground 
And uh, as I was working on this car, it made me, you know, actually want to take it apart. So I'm going to have to actually take it apart and actually, you know, try to do it right and stuff. I'll make sure I go through everything. That's just pretty much it. So I'm uh, going to get her off the jacks and that'd be it. Guys, I'm ashy. Anyway, moment of truth. Fingers crossed. Neutral. So right here at this moment, my heart actually dropped. Um, I didn't hear nothing at first, so I'm thinking there's got to be something with the ignition. So I might have to take the steering wheel apart to check my connections in that area to see like what's really going on and stuff. Um, it's kind of weird and strange, but didn't want to you know work afterwards. Continue. And, uh, yeah, uh, I didn't turn the engine over uh, just yet, but uh, it's not at my home, so I'm going to have to get it towed to my home um, yeah, to see what it is. All right. I ain't going to lie, guys. Got me thinking right now. That's a brand new starter on there and it's clicking too. So, I probably should have turned the engine over. So at this point, I'm taking out the spark plugs just to check for any sign of any drop valve or anything. But I know for a fact I ain't had an issue. But like I said, the belt ain't, you know, busted or nothing to, you know, throw it off time. Ooh, jump the gun too quick once again, as you can see. You got your flashlight. Can't remember. I thought it was gonna be a good Sunday, but I'm not gonna let you know this car get the best of me of today. Uh, you know, it's way important things. It's gonna be in the back of my head though. My girl said I'm still gonna be thinking about it and stuff. Of course though, you know, after you put, you know, time and effort into it. Of course, of course, of course. Anyway, I mean I took removed the spark plugs and all that just to check through. And the actually, you know, the tail was going on and stuff. I probably need to get it back home uh sometime. Uh probably get towed. Might borrow a trailer uh from somebody I know to get my car towed or something, I'll figure it out some damn type of way. Or might get a tow truck company, uh, you know, see how much they're gonna charge me and stuff and just go from there. It ain't gonna be rocket science though, but, and kind of hard to believe though. I mean, what could possibly be the issue of this car not starting? I'm not sure. Uh, if you have any tips or anything, just let me know. Uh, all you should do is click, 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 which I will put everything back and y'all will, you know, get off that. So that's pretty much it.